man, that is my ranking for centers based off their play style. Drop some new series ideas, man. Let's go. Like, come on, bro. There's so much more we could do, bro. Like, come on. I posted this video a month ago. It is officially time for a new series. So I was looking at y'all suggestions, right? I seen some of y'all talking about like retired players. I like that. I like where your head's at. And then I seen another comment saying like rank teams based off how exciting they are. And I and let's just mush them together. Ladies and gentlemen, but probably just gentlemen, because I know you're with no bitches right now. We have a new series for all five positions. Point guards, shooting guards, small forwards, power forwards, centers. We gonna be ranking them based off how exciting they are. Kind of similar to their play style, but this is more based off who gets you out of your seat. Who's dropping jaws? I said jaws, bro. J-A-W-S. Do not be weird. And unlike last time, we're not just doing 30 starters. We're putting our hands into the all-time jar. I'm gonna pick out 30 players I feel like ranking, specifically point guards for this video. And you know, you know, get it done. No, 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 no. I know you're not gonna let Rudy Gobert talk to you like that. I bet you won't like the video. Oh my, he's calling your ass out. Shit, I would never let Rudy Gobert talk to me like that. Like me personally, bro, I just like the video for real. Just get that shit over with for real. But yeah, I think I went over everything I had to. Ranking all-time players. And I did not forget how Rudy Gobert just tried you like that. The only thing we have left is to talk about the question from last video. Who's a rapper that you just cannot take serious even when you try? And Jaleel 100 and 10% wins that. This cannot be a real human being. Like, bro. <laughs> bro, what the hell? Next question down below, humor me. So here's the list. Take a good look. Just a bunch of random all-time point guards. These are the main guys that came to mind. And you know, I think it's fair. I think this is a good list. And yeah, we might as well just get to it. Last thing, last last thing, I swear to God. These are all-time players. So it's an all-time ranking. Some of these guys are super exciting, but not everybody could be S-tier. That's for the ones. Like, y'all know what I mean. Like, the ones. Let's get it started with D5. Very exciting player to watch. Fast as hell. Very shifty. He had catch a few bodies, you know what I'm saying? And so imagine all that. But times 10 if it's the fourth quarter. All in all, I think he's pretty exciting. Definitely enough to get him into B tier. But he not making me lose all my marbles. I'll stand up on my seat, but I'm not jumping. So yeah, I got him in B. Up next, we got John Wall. And John Wall is like the A version of De'Aaron Fox to me. Now, y'all can argue amongst yourselves who's better. But in terms of excitement, John Wall is literally just a more exciting D5. He's taking crazier shots. Crazy ass dunking layup packages. Screaming at the top of his lungs throwing gang signs. He can teach you how to doggy. That ass used to be one of my favorite players. So yeah, I got him at A tier. <clears throat> Stephen Curry might be the most exciting player I've ever watched. And trust me, I have thought about this. Every now and then, bro, you know, I take a little green, roll it up, and watch some basketball highlights. In fact, I'm doing it right now, watching Curry in this is just crazy. Like, bro, look at the shots he takes. That alone gets him into S tier. And then when you add on the layups, the floaters, the ball handling, and the most exciting part of all, the celebration. Going to sleep. Going to sleep. Good night. Yeah, for me, it's Curry and one other player that we'll talk about in another video. They got it for most exciting, so obviously I have him at S tier. Russell Westbrook. And no, you can't count the excitement you get for when you're playing against Russell Westbrook. I, I'm sorry, Westbrook fans. I'm sorry. I'm about to praise the nigga in a second, bro. I just had to get that one in there. There's no denying that Prime Westbrook is one of the most fun players to watch. Just yam after yam after yam. His emotions be going crazy. He be hype as hell. Very, very exciting to watch. Easy ass S tier. No debate for real. Steve Nash. I don't know why I said his name like that. His passes are pretty cool, you know. In general, you could say he's an exciting player to watch. But nah, he's not on anybody's level right here. And don't, e don't even tell, don't fucking say D Fox. You're not gonna sit here and tell me Steve Nash is more exciting or as exciting as D Aaron Fox. Don't give a fuck how cool his passes were. C tier. Isaiah Thomas, but in his prime. Hey, IT was fun to watch. Look at the little dude, man. He killing it. Look at him go. That definitely gives him extra points, bro. I'm not gonna lie. He's doing all of this at 5 2. He was so tough, bro. Got the little guy in B tier. Hey, hey, look, look. It might be recency bias, but I don't think it is. Jamal Murray is tough, bro. <laughs> that is tough. I'll tell you what, it is not exciting to see Jamal Murray fry your team. He got the handle. Not only does he have the shot, but he has the shot selection. And he be catching crazy bodies too. To me, Jamal Murray as an exciting player is like between B and A, but I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm leaning towards A. He really do some shit that'll make you just go like, wow. We not gonna talk long about this one. Kyrie is one of the most exciting players to watch ever. And it's a different type of excitement too. Like Westbrook will have you be like, damn! But Kyrie will have you like, ugh, 
<laughs> Just smooth and filthy. S tier. Now I'm not gonna lie. I'm familiar with Gilbert Arenas, but not like for real, for real. Like I know he could score the ball like crazy. He's insane. But I never sat down and for real watched some highlights. So you know we're gonna watch some highlights. What you, what you guys think so far? I think he's pretty tough. I say he's more exciting than Steve Nash for sure. So we could put him in B tier. Big old voluptuous booty Lowry. Yeah, uh, he not that exciting to me. But I could see how like a Jalen Green would think Kyle Lowry is excited. But me personally, he gotta go to F tier. Isaiah Thomas is another one of those old players I don't really watch. From what I'm seeing right now, not too exciting to my 2023 eyes. It's cool, but like, come on, bro. I get impressed by better things now. E tier for evolution. Ray John Rondo. Gotta cut the music off for this one. Look, Rondo as a player is like decently exciting. You know, it's kind of like a Steve Nash thing, bro. I love the passes. But what makes Ray John Rondo exciting, bro, is his personality. This nigga was just ready to fight anybody. Always getting into it. You know you was gonna see something if Rondo was playing. Exciting player, man. He beat here. James Harden. Specifically 2018, 2019 Rockets Harden. I think he was pretty exciting to watch. One of my more favorite players. But the reason I'm saying it like that, because I wouldn't put him with, like, Curry and Westbrook for excitement. It's not the same. But it's definitely enough to get him into A tier. We got another little guy. Man, I actually used to really like watching Tony Parker play. Because, bro, he would run to the rim so fast. You would think there's absolutely no way you can make the layup. Like, it would just smack off the backboard. But it went in every single... He just didn't miss layups. Which doesn't sound like that big of a flex, now that I'm saying that out loud about an NBA player. But trust me, it... Okay, he's D tier. John Morant is one of them. It's too bad that highlights are not the type of clips he wants. Because this dude is actually insane. One of the most exciting players I've ever watched. I'm going to be real. Every time he's on the court, it's a guaranteed Sports Center top 10 moment waiting to happen. So yeah, no debate. I got him in S tier. Now with Dame, I feel the same way how I feel about Harden. And he like my third favorite player. It's levels to this. Love the shot selection. Love the attitude. Don't like how this whole trade business with Portland is going down. Mm, I only want to go to Miami. Like, come on, bro. Just get this off the Blazers. But yeah, I got him at A tier. John, I would destroy 1v1 Stockton. Seen the highlights, not moved. Ooh, yeah, I'm, I'm about to go to sleep. Just put him in F tier while I take a nap. Magic Johnson. Now, Magic's cool. His highlights kind of move me. But he's not as exciting as the guys in B tier. Yo, look, maybe I'm just a stupid young blood. I don't know real basketball. I don't know any better. Because he ain't touching B through S in, in terms of excitement. He could join Mr. Nash. Now, what y'all know about Dan Williams? If you know, you know. One of my favorite players players as a kid. Very exciting to watch. Super tough. Not talked about enough. I get why, but still, not talked about enough. But for me, he definitely with the B-tier, guys. Uh, here we go with another old head. Look, I'm not disrespecting these old niggas, bro. Relax. They just can't match the excitement of a player, you know, in the 21st century. It's not their fault, but man, evolution's a bitch. E-tier. Three CPO. Young Chris Paul is pretty exciting. Definitely tough as hell. Like, dude was nice. He's definitely like that. I don't know if he with the B-tier guys, though, man. I don't know. He tough, but he probably like C-tier excitement. I ain't gonna lie. Baron Davis, high energy dude. Obviously, y'all seen the people he posts. His athleticism for his size in general. Extremely exciting player to watch. Definitely somebody that could surprise you. To the point where I could definitely put him in B-tier. I'm messing with it. I'm messing with it. I used to really like him because, bro, the step back, the step back, the step back. It's so quick, and he gets so much separation, bro. And he's another one of the look, look, look guys. And I told y'all, bro, that's extra points. Kemba Walker is five, four and a half. Can you believe that? Cooking seven footers like it's nothing. I got Kemba in B tier. Now, Luca, oh, man. Just like Ja, honestly, every time he hops on the court, it's a highlight. The highlights themselves are definitely exciting. Not always in love with the attitude. He be crying, and, you know, kind of makes things less exciting. Luca's hard for me. Pause. I think he's above the A tier guys, but I don't think he's with the S tier guys. I'll put him in S, but he's easily the least exciting one. And lastly, we got D Rose. I'm going to be a little biased with this one. I'm not going to lie. I'm not even a big D Rose fan, but being from Chicago and seeing him who you could not not be excited watching Derrick Rose. He was like Kyrie before Kyrie, but dunk. I think I got him in A, but bro, he is not far from S tier. I'm not going to lie. And that's my ranking. All time players based off how exciting they are. For the next positions though, I'm going to have y'all choose. So if y'all want to have shooting Shooting guards next, comment it. If you want to see small forwards next, comment it. We're not going to do it in order this time. Whatever y'all want to see next, bro, we'll do it. Just comment it. What you want next in the comments? Bullet going to make you a sting. It's the size of a comment. I know he a rap bionic. Showing my rats and my stats how the bitches astonished. Just talking my life, I ain't trying to stun. Only way I get fried if three five in a blunt. It got to the point every time I eat lunch that my bitch not surprised when I pull out a dud. Ain't nobody surprised when I'm bringing out drugs. Uh, Chaz right back on the stuff. Fuck with a few, I don't know who to trust. Uh, Trey about to talk about what? Let's talk about money, hunters and dubs. I got the pole, but I'm throwing her one. Stuck in my room, I'm allergic to clothes. I said what she want, got her love in my lust.